For more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates, please visit my website civilbasics123.com. Go to type civilbasics123.com in Google so that my website will be open here like this. So which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics. So please follow my website civilbasics123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you non-linear static pushover analysis of three-story building by using ETAP software. Okay, so I was already done my modeling process and I was applied the load cases which is related to the gravitational loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition system for the three-story building. Okay, so initially I will open that respected model. Click on this model so that my complete three-story building model was loaded in ETAP software here like this which is consisting of approximately 9 meter length and 6 meter width okay so for this respected building structure i was taking the uh, frame section which is related to the column size is 0.3 meter plus 0.3 meter and beam size is 0.3 meter plus 0.23 meter and i was taking the slab thickness which is approximately equal to 125 150 mm okay so again i was taking the grade of the uh, concrete is m25 and grade of the steel is fe 415 grade steel okay so after applying the load cases we need to define the uh, push over x and push over y loading condition system okay so before that we need to unlock the model here click on ok option so again we have to define the load cases okay go to define option click on load patterns option so initially we need to define the load case which is related to the push x option okay so here i am selecting as push x option and type will be of other type here okay click on add option again i am selecting the load case which is related to the push y condition system click on add option okay so again we have to click on ok option so after defining that respected push x load case and push y load case we need to uh, give the non-linear static property for the respected x direction and y direction push loading okay go to define option so select the define option load cases option okay so here we have to select the uh, push x it will be comes under the load case of linear static case but we need as per the non-linear static case okay so that's why we need to click on the modify show option here okay so initially we need to select the load type will be of non-linear static case okay so again it will ask you to select the mass source option okay so mass source was defaultly selected as msrc1 okay so this is the mass source file so next one is related to the initial condition system okay basically the for sure condition system will be starts from zero condition system okay that's why i'm selecting here as zero okay and we have to select the load pattern option so here i'm selecting load pattern will be of acceleration in x direction condition with the factor one okay click on add option again we have to delete this dead loading condition so again we have it will be consisting of other type of the parameters here like this which is related to the load applications results saved and land linear properties okay select the load application option okay click on modify show option so it will be consisting of three types here full loading condition displacement control okay for this is uh, static run as time history case okay but we need only as per the displacement control so just select this and we have to click on ok option directly again i am selecting this respect result saved option so it will be consisting of result saved option two types here final state only and multiple states only basically we will see the results only for the multiple state condition systems only okay so click on ok option again we have to select this respected modify option so it will be consisting of your respected non-linear properties here like this click on cancel option click on ok option again in the same process we have to select the push by condition system modify show option again we have to select this respective properties non-linear static mass source will be this condition again it will be consisting of acceleration with the uy condition system with one factor okay so again we have to select this load application type which is related to the displacement control click on ok again i'm selecting result saved option multiple states option click on ok click on ok option again we have to click on ok option okay so after defining this respective two types of the load cases we need to add the hinge properties for the beam sections as well as the column section this is the important step in push over analysis case okay so for that firstly we have to select the beams go to select option select option here select the property frame section select the beam section property here which is related to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.23 select option close option okay so again we have to click on the assign option here okay frame sections here so it will be consisting of your respected hinges option here like this okay so here it will open the uh, frame hinge assignment data here like this which is related to the auto hinges section okay so basically we need to apply the hinge properties for the respective frame section which is at a distance of 0.05 percentage from the one end and 0.95 percentage from the another end okay that's why we need to keep the value 0.05 value so again we have to select this respected value click on add option okay 
So again, it will ask you to select the auto hinge property, which is related to the beam or column. So as per the consideration, we are taking only the concrete beam section. That's why I'm selecting here as concrete beams only. Okay. So here we have to select the M3, which is related to the degree of freedom for the respected beam section. Again, we have to select the load case will be a push X condition system. Okay. So again, I'm selecting click on OK option. Now in the same process, just I'm selecting 0.95 value, click on add option. Again, we have to select this respected push X condition system for the concrete beam sections only. Click on OK option. Now in the same process, we have to add the push Y condition system also for the beams. Okay, click on add option. Again, I'm selecting this loading condition system to push Y condition system. Click on OK. Again, I'm selecting this value 0.95 condition. Click on add option, which is related to the push Y condition system. Okay, so click on OK option. Okay, so that it will add the load case, which is related to the uh, 0.05. Push X 0.95 push X and 0.05 push Y and 0.95 push Y. Click on OK option so that it will apply the hinge property section for the respected beam sections. Now we can see here on the right hand side section, it will be consisting of the hinge property options here like this. You can see on that uh, respected elevation section for the complete details. Okay, click on apply option, click on OK. Now we can see this is the hinge properties which is applied for this respected building which is at a distance of approximately. 0.05 times of uh, x direction again it will be consisting of 0.95 times of this respected remaining distance okay in the same process we have to apply the hinge property for the columns okay go to select option select this property section frame section select the column section here select here so click on close option go to assign option frame sections select the hinge property again i am selecting this respected value 0.05 click on add button so select this respected uh, section to the concrete column and section okay concrete column and section which is related to the degree of freedom of p m to m3 movement x direction movement y direction and lateral load okay again we have to select this respected loading condition system which is related to the push x condition system okay gravity plus lateral loading condition system will be of dead loading condition again we have to click on the ok option here okay so again in the same process we have to select this respected value 0 0.95 value again we have to click on add option so that it will add the x direction with the 0.95 factor again i am selecting 0.05 factor which is related to the uh, concrete column and section with the push by condition system so select this respected values push by condition system so click on ok option again in the same process just i am changing this respected value to 0.95 option click on add button so select this respected values push by condition dead loading okay so click on ok option so that it will apply the uh, hinges for this respected vertical section so directly click on ok option so that it will apply the hinges for the vertical section for the column section now i will show you the hinge properties for the vertical sections also select a section elevation section click on apply option click on ok option so that it will display the hinge section property for the vertical sections here like this okay so initially i am selecting this zoom option so now we can see these are the hinge properties for the vertical section okay so again we need to analyze this respect structure so for that initially we need to change the respected dead loading condition and light loading condition system to the non-linear static case okay so go to define option select this load patterns option load cases option okay select this dead loading condition click on modify option change that respective property to non-linear static case okay click on ok option okay so again i'm selecting the live loading condition modify show property again i'm selecting here as non-linear static case condition click on ok option so that it will change the non-linear property here like this click on ok option now we have to analyze this respective structure before that we need to apply the uh, support condition system so click on apply option click on ok option for the selection of the ground story ground level for the respected building so now we have to select this respected property at the ground level just i'm selecting here click on assign option joint point restraints option select this fixed support condition system click on apply option click on ok option so that it will apply the fixed support conditions at the base okay so now we have to uh, add the diaphragm for this respected building so select all the building go to assign option joint point select diaphragm condition system select d1 click on apply option so click on ok option so that it will apply the diaphragm for the respected building under consideration so now we have to analyze this respected structure under pushover condition system so for that go to analyze option set load cases to run option option here so here we have to select the load case which is related to the dead loading condition live loading condition push x direction load condition and uh, push y load condition as run option and the remaining load cases we need to put as do not run option 
click on run now option okay so it will take some time for uh, doing the analysis process for this respective building so for the uh, g plus 5 structures g plus 10 structures sometimes it will take around uh, 10 hours 15 hours 24 hours okay. so after the analysis is completed the deflection diagram is showing here like this so now we have to click on display option show deform shape which is related to the push over x direction condition click on apply option so that it will display the push or x direction condition diagram so now you can click on this expected uh, values here for changing the displacement mode diagram okay so this is the first mode diagram for the respected push or x direction this is the second mode diagram for the respected displacement diagram for the second push or analysis okay you can click on this again you can click on this again you can click on this now we can see the weak hinge joints are applied at this respected second position and third position for the building structure okay so now we have to see the shear force diagram go to display option select the spear forces vanilla force select to push x direction select to shear to two option so you can select the number of modes are 12 let us consider just i am taking click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram for this respected building structure here like this okay so again you can change that respected more number to two number and three number depends upon your consideration that shear force value will be changes here like this okay uh, now we have to see the graphs which is related to the push over curves okay go to display option select the static push over curves option here okay so firstly we have to select the load cases option okay so initially we need to select the push x direction so it will be consisting of first curve is related to the base shear versus monitor displacement here like this okay the base shear was provided on the y axis monitor displacement is provided on x axis okay so again you can change that respected axis to y direction condition this is the y direction uh, base shear versus monitor di uh, displacement again you can select fe a 440 el curve okay so this is the fea 440 vl curve for this respected uh a push over y direction condition you can select as push or x direction condition okay so this is the curve okay so again you can see the diagrams which is related to your respect ac nptl and target displacement in tc 2008 target displacement values okay under considerations of push or direction x direction i get push or direction y direction condition okay so this is the complete process of push or analysis of uh, three story building by using e tap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you